What's up, friends? We got about three hours sleep last night. We were done around 3, 3 o'clock, and we got to bed around 3.30, and we had to wake up at 6.30 to get here for breakfast and shoot one last scene along the Arkansas River before we drive nine hours to Oklahoma City to get Tripp and Nathan to their destination because they're doing a workshop at a church there. So this is all scheduled, but the three o'clock wasn't quite scheduled. But because of the horse catastrophe, we got a little delayed. So here we are, three hours sleep. Now I usually get eight to nine hours sleep a night and I've probably been getting anywhere from five, six hours a night, except for last night I got three. Whew. And the, the team, let me tell you, Trip after taking a tumble off a horse, He's a stud. His shoulder's hurting him though. Nathan, he's uh, really being diligent and uh, working on his lines and he sounds great. Corey, he's just Mr. Dependable. Could not be uh, more faithful, dependable, hardworking. And uh, Jess, let me tell you, she is Miss Ideas. That gal, she comes up with great ideas constantly. Uh, and she's of course capturing our sound. And Brandon, geez, that guy's like a genius on uh, shot selection and just the thought process of the whole film. So anyway, really thankful for the team. They are unbelievable. And here we go, we'll shoot one last scene. This is a scene where Jabez brings gas. Speaking of that, I gotta go get the gas tank. Um, brings gas to Larry and Cleo. Cleo's passed out and they have to load Cleo in the van, which should be entertaining with Tripp's hurt arm. Love it. I'm gonna call action, dude. Ready, guys? Action. 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 Sorry, I can see the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. Start over again, George. Come on, you're a big boy. Oh, yeah. That looks comfortable. <laughs> you're in first. You got to go up and up. Somebody left the light on in the uh, van last night. Not it. And uh, you actually pull it's dead back. now. I blame Jay This is me uh, putting aside my feminine exterior for uh, some more of my manly interior. Those look like heavy duty jumper cables. Mm -hmm. This is goodbye. This is goodbye. Bye. Thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. You guys Bye, are so Barbara. Great. Goodbye, Barbara. <laughs> goodbye. The apartment was so nice. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. Thank you. You guys were great. Drive carefully. Bye, Thanks. Barbara. Bye. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> we will try not to. Power on. Why? Hey, are you there? I don't think I turned theirs on. So Mark. Give them a wave. Thank you for everything. You we really appreciate nice it. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Enjoy, Bye, enjoy your week. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. Oh, that's a that's a that's a goat screen. Goat screen. Ah! Ah! All right, get 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 in. I bet you that's like code for a certain type of drug. <coughs> it's not liquid ice, it's ice, like a the drug. If I hear gunshots, we're leaving. I'm gonna leave him here. You know this is like a We have a dehydrator on the front porch with garlic, like little circles, breads, toasting in that dehydrator. I'm pretty sure ice doesn't mean the frozen if I saw ice H2O on... sack type of ice, I'm sure it's like code word for a drug. Yeah, best. 10 pounds for a dollar fifty is a pretty good deal though. Crap here. Now we gotta go back. 
Let's just stop somewhere else on the road. Yeah, we'll okay. pass one in a little bit. Good idea. Bye. All Baker, right. Ice bakers. We've been driving nine hours from Florence, Colorado to, well, we're trying to get to Oklahoma City. 